In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculator Permitted. We're now on problems 10 through 13. All right, let's take a look at question 10. Washington High School random selected freshmen, sophomore, junior, and senior students for a survey about potential changes to next year's schedule. Of students selected for the survey, one quarter were freshmen and one third were sophomores. Half of the remaining selected students were juniors. If 336 were selected for the survey, how many were seniors? And uh, so we're given the total number of students is 336. And what you could do, one way to do it is they're all split up based on the class. So freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So one way is just to take your calculator, do 0.25 times 336, take one third, 0.33 times 336, and just add them up and divide it. But I think the way I'd probably do this is that we've got these two fractions and we know that the the remaining students are e evenly divided between juniors and seniors is I would just look for a common f factor. So between twelfths and third or um, fourths and third is a twelfth. And so we could say the freshman in terms of twelfths, which right is the common factor, is three twelfths. Sophomores are one third. So in terms of twelfth, that's four twelfths. And so those two together are 7 twelfths, so that means the juniors and seniors have to be 5 twelfths, and they're evenly split up. And so at this point, you could use your calculator. So 5 divided by 12 times the total number of students in the survey, 140. So that's the total number left between juniors and seniors. They're evenly split. And so there's 70 of each, the juniors and seniors. So 70 seniors. And let's take a look at question 11. Plant A is currently 20 centimeters tall and plant B is currently 12 centimeters tall. The ratio of the heights of plant A to plant B is equal to the ratio of the heights of plant C to plant D. If plant C is 54 centimeters tall, what is the height of plant D in centimeters? So the ratio A to B, we have 20 to 12 and you could reduce this you don't have to but we could divide each side by 4 and that would be 5 thirds this is the ratio of a to b we're told that's the same ratio to c to d and so c to d we're going to line them up across so c is the same as a the bigger one so this is 54 and we could cross multiply just uh set up a ratio here so 5x we could use our calculator so 54 times 3, and then we divide by 5, right? So this would be 162, and it was 32.4. The answer is A. All right, let's take a look at question 12. Biologists found a new species of pale shrimp at the world's deepest underwater sea vent, the BB vent field. The vent is 3.1 miles below the sea's surface. Approximately how many kilometers below the sea's surface is the vent? One kilometer equals approximately 0.6214 miles. This is just like the last question. We could set up a ratio and cross multiply. <clears throat> Excuse me, as long as you're consistent. And so let's start out. We're given that one kilometer equals 6214. So this is miles. And we're told that the vent is 3.1 miles. So this will be on the bottom. We have to line these up. And we'll see how many kilometers that is x. So we just cross multiply. So we're going to get 0.6214x equals 3.1, right? 3.1 times 1. And let's just divide then. So 3.1 divided by 0.6214. Looks like almost 5, and it says approximately, so it's very close to 5. That is the answer. All right, last question on this page, number 13. A cargo helicopter delivers only 100-pound packages and 120-pound packages for each delivery trip. The helicopter must carry at least 10 packages and the total weight of the packages can be at most 1,100 pounds. What is the maximum number of 120 pound packages the helicopter can carry per trip? So this is a lot like a system of equations. The only difference is it's not an equation, it's actually an, an inequality because we see these terms at least and at most. And so to set it up academically, I'm actually, I, I prefer to do it another way, but I'll show you the to academic way to set this up is first you want an inequality for the number of items. And we we'll see this this term at least. Let's we've got two types of packages. We'll say this is x and this is let's say y. So we know x plus y. At least so means that number or greater 10. That's the total number of packages. 
And the other inequality is going to be based on the pounds. And we know that it's 100 pounds per x plus 120y. And we see this phrase at most. So at most means less than or equal to 1,100. And what you would do here if we're solving for y in this case, which is the 120 pound package, you would express x in terms of y. So you could do x and greater than or equal to 10 minus y. But you actually could change this to an equal sign because if you're trying to make y as big as possible, you want to make x as small as possible. So then you could just do x equals 10 minus y and plug it in and solve. The way I would prefer to do this, I'm not going to solve it, the rest of it, I just showed you if you want to set it up like that. But the way I would do it, whenever you see a question like this, they're typically going to be problem solving where you have the answers in front of you. They're asking for the maximum. I'm just plugging the answer and always start with the maximum, see if it works. Just makes it more concrete. So we're going to say 6 is the maximum number of 120. So you do 6 times 120, that's 720. And 1100 is the total, so this is going to be 380. You could use your calculator. Remember, we need at least 10 total. So we can't get 4 because 4 times 10, 100, right, would be 400. We're just a little bit short. So we can't do 6. Let's go to the next one, which is, well, I already circled it. I can tell you that's going to be the answer because we're so close. So we're, let's say 5. 5 times 120, that is 600, okay? And so we've got 500 pounds left, and we can actually get 5, right? We can get exactly 5 times the 100 pounds, and this exactly works. So it's 500. So yeah, the answer here is 5.